everyone, this is Crafty Kim and it's here, yay, it is here, the moment when all of these lovely ladies, including myself, will be releasing our big reveal video showing everything that we made gingerbread for the Gingerbread Fever YouTube Hop 2023. And you can see the hashtag there, here in the corner. Betty Scrap Passion 01 will be making the announcement on February 26, 2023 on who has won all the beautiful gifts from the sponsors um, to win that of course you had to leave a comment in each one of our videos and yeah and i also will be having a personal giveaway and to win that all you had to do was of course leave a comment under all of our videos as well as follow me on instagram crafty kim triple seven okay so let me show you guys what I have made for this YouTube hop. So I have purchased a whole bunch of dies and stamps to make some paper crafts. And when I was making, running my um, cuddle bug, the dies through the first round, my plate just broke in half. And of course I have one of those ancient, ancient, ancient um, cuddle bugs. So I was like, you know what? I'm going to have to do something else. Maybe it's not meant to be for me to make shakers and cards and all kinds of things like that. All those yummy goodies. So I decided to make this. It is absolutely gorgeous. I just love it. It is a gingerbread theme mini junk journal. And you can see it is jam packed. So all this yumminess ribbon that is sticking out is the little ties on the tags you could easily remove this if this is not your thing also i have a couple sticking out in the bottom and some yummy dangles that you could also remove you could also remove this little charm here that i have here little dangle charm where it has a little gingerbread a little cupcake pan a little bow and some candies and a spoon and a spatula all going with that cooking baking gingerbread yumminess and so yeah so i made this little and I'm going to try to back up the camera a little bit. Sorry if it's a little too dark in here. But yeah, this is the kind of lighting that I have to deal with. So on this part, I just added some rosette trim here and a little bow. Just to give it a little extra cuteness. Of course, a little dangle there. And the tie is ribbon. I had originally made this one. And... I actually like the spine on this one a little bit better. I think it came out a little bit more cuter with the extra ribbon trim. But yeah, I wanted to try something different. And this one I did not finish. It is, with the exception of a few pages, completely blank. So I might just fill this later on in the future or pass it on to someone. I don't know yet. So... The cover is made by some heavy-duty cardstock made from scratch. It has three signatures, as you can see. And the um, tags that I added in here just made this thing explode. Again, you can remove all the tags. The tags are made from cardstock. So that's why it is very heavy-duty and thick. I did reinforce the spines by adding extra decorative paper on it. And all my images I got off of Pinterest. So let me see if I could bring it a little closer so you can get a better look. When you open it, it has a pocket on the inside. And I don't have any Christmas images in this junk journal. Only two, I think, I believe two or three images of winter theme. But nothing really Christmassy. Let me see the back. I think the back is similar or well, actually this one seems a little bit more Christmassy so those are the like the only two pictures so when I make my junk journals I have this thing where I like to make a lot of tuck spots and fold outs like this so you can write and hide all of your whatever it is that you're writing and again these are made on heavy-duty cardstock they have decorative paper on top and in the back they will be blank all my pages and images are distressed. So this has quite a few. I think I, ha I have to add the ribbon to this. This has quite a few um, tuck spots, images, and tags. It's a lot of pages. I think it's 
it might be anywhere from 120 to 140 pages front and back so I'm just gonna go through it as quickly as possible some of the tags face down and all these are tuck spots tuck tuck and you could pull that up so you can write so you will see that it's just lovely lovely images of gingerbread they're just so cute so adorable and you could definitely hang some dangles from the centers just think it's so gorgeous i really really love the way this came out i think this is like one of my favorite junk journals that i have done i did coffee dye all of my pages i do have some regular note pages in here that are coffee dyed and also what do you call that kool-aid dyed and this just slips out so cute this is glued down and then these just so you can write they fold out this is the center signature again there is three signatures all together and also I forgot to mention that there is a bookmark here so you could mark the page that you're writing on or left off at this is just a tag pulls out so there is a whole lot of real estate in here we have tons and tons of writing spots tags tuck spots where you can add pictures prayers little memorabilia and each image is different I don't remember if I put anything double I don't think so but I'm going to try to speed it up because I have a lot more to share with you guys. I just love gingerbread. I can do gingerbread all year. I'm actually working on a whole bunch of stuff for Christmas coming in 2023. Because I am a slow crafter, so I do have to start early. And I just added this trim here, both in the front cover and in the back. And again, this is a pocket here. And it ties up with this gorgeous ribbon. And again... You don't like it being so bulky just take out all the tags that you want so that is that and because i wanted to do something where you didn't need a die or a stamp since i wasn't able to use mine i took a happy planner and what i did was let's see if i have a piece here where i could show it to you i think i might have a okay, it goes. so in this happy planner what i did was this was the cover of the happy planner i took my exacto knife and i cut away at it removed the cotton that's inside of it or whatever the stuffing they had and i added some decorative paper in the background you can see it's the same paper going around and then i took some gingerbread um, images that i laminated took the same image laminated her both front and back i added some of this beautiful trim on the spine as well as this trim that i do sell at my shop and that's what i did to this happy planner and then inside i just added some more laminated images on each of the indexes which shows you the months i just added random pictures of the gingerbread and this planner comes with an undated calendar and pockets so that is really cool not much to do so I'm just going to show you quickly I just added random pictures whatever I had laminated already because I did have some gingerbread images laminated from way back when and this cutie pie here I don't know why the coloring on this is like that but it's the way it was printed and this large image here in the back 
So you can take a happy planner or whatever planner that you get at Michael's, Joann's, Hobby Lobby, and just alter it. So I did those two. And then I decided I wanted to go a little further. So I decided to make a gingerbread doll. Normally this um, design that I did here, I usually use for my Raggedy Ann prim dolls. And I decided to make her gingerbread. She's so cute. I think she came out absolutely gorgeous. She has this oversized dress. Let's see if I can back this camera up a little bit. So you can get a full view of how cute she is. Her clothes are not removable. Her icing is painted on. The face is painted on. So I did not stop there. I decided to make another one with a different style dress. Cute little shabby chic dress. And she has her little pink stockings on. Her little bow. And this is the way her face looks. So stinking cute just love the way she came out and then i decided to make a traditional gingerbread this is made out of soft fleece not felt fleece i took one of the dollar tree valentine's day gnome um, kitchen towels and i decided to make his little pants out of it i also got this from dollar tree and i just added some ribbon going around to give him a little extra oomph so his clothes is also not removable. I didn't stop there, but I decided to make a jar for, um, like if you wanted to use this jar as a pin cushion, you could. Let me get one of the smaller ones so you can see better. Let's see if I go down a little closer. So yeah, you could use this as a pin cushion. I added a little sewing machine, a little ribbon spool and a pair of scissors and it's just a jar where you can just put some some sewing things inside and then i made a pin cushion and then just have a couple here so you can see what it looks like take them out so that you can see the gingerbread how cute he is so this i made it where you can put it on your wrist if you like he was busy sewing crafting and you needed to hold some needles you could do, do it that way or you could just leave them on the table as if as is so for my lovely hostesses i decided to make them a gift so for my keisha i made this cute little gingerbread girl and unfortunately i ran out of the fabric because i had used the other this fabric on the other dolls so I ran out of this uh, fabric here and so I was only able to make Markeisha a little gingerbread girl doll and I like the whole shabby chic I love having like frayed edges so I didn't put anything under here for her doll left it frayed like that natural so I think she's just so cute and they she does sit on her own so hopefully Markeisha will like this little girl but if Markeisha decides that she don't want her then I will add her to the giveaway and for my darling lovely Betty I made this little gingerbread girl and I had to use a different um, skin tone and I kind of like this skin tone a lot better I think it looks more true to gingerbread all shades are beautiful and so I made this one for her. The difference between these two is that one is the frosting is painted on. And then this one actually has the rickrack. So I have rickrack on her hands and rickrack on her feet. And again, she sits up. She sits up. And I think she came out so stinking cute. So I made a little jar to go along with her in the same theme. I also made something else. And I had to hide it from my daughter because she was just loving it, trying to get at it. And I know that if she gets her hands on it, she would absolutely destroy it. So I had to hide it. So here is what I also made for, for the lovely Betty. It is a mini chalkboard. I took a mini clipboard that you get from 
Dollar Tree and I just altered it. I took some chalkboard paint, painted it. And you can still use it as a clipboard. And I just made a cute little gingerbread girl to match with Betty's doll and jar. Um, I would have made the same for Marquisha, but I don't have much of the fabric left. It's totally a tiny little piece left. I had it here to share so you could see the amount that was left, but I don't know where I put it at because I'm always constantly cleaning off my table. So yeah, so hopefully you guys like the projects that I did for this gingerbread hop. I had so much fun. I am so grateful and thankful that Betty and Markeisha allowed me to participate in this hop. This was my first hop ever. I was so nervous and um, yeah, but I did it, made it through. So hopefully you guys will like what I made or, or like already <laughs> what I made. And so for my giveaway, again, all you have to do is be a subscriber. All you have to do is also follow me on Instagram and yeah, that's Crafty Kim Triple Seven. You'll have the information in the description box below. And everything that I made is available for my giveaway. There will be one winner only, and that one winner can choose which prize they would prefer from the hand items that I made. So thank you guys for watching. Please go down and check out Robin next. I believe she's next on the list, and all the other ladies, so that you can be ele el eligible. For all the giveaways, everybody's, I believe, having give giveaways as well. And so, yeah. So, thank you guys for stopping by. And hopefully, you'll stay and hit that like and subscribe button. And I'll see you guys next time.